I did not want to make this video even a little bit. Bottom eight will be canceled or postponed uh, until this thing blows over. It's, uh, I really, really did not want to do it. I did not want to cancel it. But uh, at this point, we are fighting uh, maybe an unwinnable battle here between uh, the difficulties in travel, uh, the quarantine, the difficulty in permits, and just the ability to get together in any kind of a group. Um, it is basically now impossible to hold something like the bottom eight uh, until, until it blows over. Anyway, so it's unfortunate that uh, I'll now say thank you to some, some really important people. Uh, start off with my good buddy Riyad from Spartan Wellness. Man, you're always there for me. You've been there right from the start. Um, thanks so much. Uh, line one, you guys were one of the very first sponsors to jump in. Uh, you guys have always had bottom eights back and, and my back, so thank you so much for that. Um, I want to make a big shout out to Willem, Marias. Dude, you broke your arm at last year's event. You were the first sponsor to last year's event, and you were the first guy to this year's event. Uh, so, 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 thank you, thank you so much, Lucas Raymond, Barbarian, James O'Flattery, uh, O'Flaherty. Uh, all you guys uh, were helping out with the event so much. Uh, Magical Butter, you guys were back into the party again this year. I'd really appreciate your support in trying to make this thing come together, guys. Uh, when we decided to finally move this event to Richmond and I got Jody involved, Jody was, you guys don't know, but Jody's been working on this event like a machine and anything that Jody puts her hands on will turn to gold i promise you jody can organize anything and i was so happy that uh we moved it here to richmond she got involved uh christy harvey man oh man i feel like you were bringing so much heat into this event uh was going to be the biggest party john adams thank you i mean People were coming out of the woodwork to help. Steve Daggett. Basically all of Richmond. Uh, guys, I was really looking forward to having a party in our hometown here. Really uh, bringing, bringing some good times to us. We'll do it. We'll just have to wait. Next up, uh, to the athletes. I know what it's like to have an event that you've been training for get pulled out on you. Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's just... It's impossible. It, like, uh, if the travel bans all of a sudden got lifted, it, it would be in the last few days. And I don't think we could get permits in time. I think it's at this point impossible. I was looking so forward to watching all you guys pull. The matchups were put together with a lot of thought, and I thought that they were going to be super entertaining and really fun. The Battle of the Russians, Artem versus Alex. You guys are both fantastic dudes. You guys were really raising the level of the bottom eight. Um, you guys are both best, best, most professional YouTubers out there, really, <laughs> in arm wrestling. Uh, I was really glad to have you guys go against each other first round. Uh, Evan versus Roger. Um, you guys are really what the bottom eight is really about. You guys are the type of athletes that I really wanted to highlight. Um, both of you guys are phenomenal, phenomenal arm wrestlers, and you should be better known. Um, you guys should be pulling, pulling in bigger, bigger places. Roger, I thought you might actually win. Evan, I don't know. The guy's got a lot of talent. I hope you guys keep on hitting bigger and bigger stuff. I was going to see my good buddy Johnny come out of retirement. 
versus uh, Hannibal Vector. Uh, Johnny, I don't know. It would have been a tough one for you. Um, but I'm glad that you were getting motivated. Uh, Coach Ray, all the way from Latvia, and you were going to pull the biggest and baddest of the Burgoynes. The rumor was that he was going to beat everybody in the bottom eight. Rumor was he was so strong that the only chance was to get him just so totally drunk that he wouldn't be able to walk. We were going to try and do that for you. Uh, Lava versus Titan Neck. I, I, I was so looking forward to watch you guys smash on the table. I just, just wanted to see what Matthew Granahan was going to do to you. I, I think he was probably going to fight. Juji. We were going to say Juji versus Larry Wheels. That was going to be the biggest match, really, that's like, on the fringes of arm wrestling, but in the fitness world, it's probably one of the biggest get-togethers you could possibly have. We're going to see my own, my oldest boy, Milo, compete with uh, the guy who really is the guy behind the entire fitness industry, Tom Boyden. Um, dude, this was the only time it was going to work because Milo's probably going to kill you in a few months or even half a year. This was like the perfect time. Um, we'll revisit. People don't know even who the last guy was in the last match that I was so pumped about. The guy who really actually inspired this entire event was going to be at the bottom eight. That's right. Igor Mazarenko was going to be the last match announced. He was going to be pulling Bart, maybe. But we had a few things still to put together. And Beaver. Beaver was back to take on um, the bottom. So, guys, I love the bottom eight. And I love all the support that you guys have given it. And that uh, you guys support this vision that we've had of arm wrestling. All the guys and girls who are going to come to the Richmond Open and party with us. It's postponed. Um, once this thing blows over, we'll put it together. Thank you, all of you who helped, supported, um, promoted, anything to do with the event. Uh, and I'm sorry that uh, at this time it's just it's not going to work. Um, if you have any questions about the event or anything in the future, don't hesitate to call me or PM me. See you all soon.